Danny Bonaducci is the former child star whose own problems with drug and alcohol abuse over the years are well known, and he joins us live this morning from Philadelphia. Danny, good morning. Good morning. Thank you. But I'm just still laughing about the oxymoron of Michael Mohan having a good idea. <laughs> Okay, so I guess you want to start there. You're not uh, supporting. I'll start wherever you want. You, you're not supporting his uh, his moves to try to help his daughter. You sound skeptical. Michael Lohan is a criminal and a thug. I don't believe that either of those parents see a child when they look at their daughter. I think they see a big bag of money. I think in the family portrait you see Mr. and Mrs. Lohan, the family dog, the sister, and a sack full of money in a Girl Scout outfit. I don't believe that they care about her anywhere but financially. All right, so if that's not the way to get her help, what is? You've been there. What, what got you out of it? Well, what got me out of it wasn't rehab. I mean, uh, you know, when I went to rehab, I had a I roommate, uh, I bunked with a guy making $20 million a picture. If that rehab would have had a bar, it would have been perfect. Uh, but <laughs> rehabs, and you can ask any doctor, rehabs have a national record of a 96% failure record. Lindsay, if you want her off drugs for real, yeah. handcuff her. And see, it's very difficult to do drugs with your hands chained behind your back. Let's stop playing around with these kids. If you don't want the kid to die, just put her in jail with her hands tied behind their back. It's not, everybody says there's all these drugs in jail, and there are drugs in jail, but believe me, they're not real easy to come back, especially if you're Lindsay Lohan. In other words, she needs, she needs a, a wake-up call like that because you've been in her shoes. Reportedly, she is in the thick of it right now. What's going through your mind at that moment? Well, right now I'm thinking about actually being in Lindsay Lohan's shoes and how weird that would be. But uh, <laughs> what's going on through my mind right now no, is the when, fact that... when you're that... in the thick of it, when you're <laughs> in the thick and the throes of an addiction like she reportedly is, what's your state of mind in that moment? You almost never think you're going to die. You, and as a matter of fact, uh, I know plenty of people, uh, you know, because I went to my meetings, I went to rehab, I quit drugs. I know lots of people that are addicted to drugs, and almost everybody's been toughed out of it. I think the sad part is I have such a distaste for the low hands that you got to remember, Elvis Presley made $55 million last year. She's not done making money if she happens to pass away. And I personally, and this is just my opinion, think these two are vile enough to go, plan B is if she passes away, let's make Lindsay Cox. Hmm. Do you think that that's inevitable, that she will be the next Corey Haim or Heath Ledger if, if somebody doesn't do something right now? Um, I, d I don't know. The human body is incredibly resilient. Uh, if, we, if she were to get it together, or even not get it together, but slowly get it together, I don't see her perishing. But she is on, and it's a sad thing, but I do radio for a living, at, uh, as you can see, YSB. Um, there's a, a prep sheet we use, and it's one of the things is the Deadpool. I spent four years on number one as the next, child, uh, as the next celebrity to die. I'm now number 63. Lindsay's one. Mm. And you've seen her in a bad state, haven't you? I'm sorry? You've seen Lindsay in a bad state, haven't you? Yes, I have. It was misconstrued. I said that uh, I had seen her drinking and falling down, all these things. People thought I was hanging out with Lindsay Lohan. We just happened to be in the same places. Lindsay happens to vomit in some of the very nicest clubs in Los Angeles. Uh, but I've seen her, yeah, I've seen her fall down. I've seen her fall, get into the driver's seat of a car, and somebody, thank God, had the wherewithal to pull her out of the car and put her into the back seat. Had they not, not only is Lindsay going to kill herself, there's a very good chance she's going to wipe out a little family on her way home. Well, let's hope that someone can pull her out of the state that she's in right now. Glad you came out of it, Danny. Thanks so much for joining us. It was my, my pleasure, and I want you to know I only did this because I actually believe she was the one that had talent. She yeah. should have made it. The rest of us, you know, we were cute once and we grew out of it. She could have been a real star, and I hope she gets it together. So do we. Danny Bonaducci. Thanks a lot, Danny. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.